What's going on, people? We are back at it on Mirren. And I want to say, this is probably the third, if not now, the fourth time that we're coming on to this map. And I know by the time you're seeing this, the hype done, the, the hype done died down. But pause. If you want to see me stream this map, follow me on Kick. And my Kick link is right there. But yeah. I want to say I haven't shown this map often and that's because we all know when a map first comes into a game or this game rather you find all the tryhards and I want to say they may be in the race to see who gets threat the quickest and you don't want to be the cannon fodder in that scenario you don't okay so I was uh, cursing over the conversation in a time safe because I was showing y'all my game plan. First, I was going to hit the comm station, then go for the time safe. Makes sense, right? And the thing is, I spawn on this map enough times to know that someone does spawn closer to the time safe than I do. You see, I just told y'all that there's somebody up there. If you read in between the lines, and I realize I, I do that a lot on my channel. I do. And if it goes over some of y'all's head, it's okay. I do it in real life too. And that's why I stay to myself. But that was a bit personal. Anyways, I decide to abandon the time safe. And instead, I'm running down this way for the comm station. Now, why did I abandon the time safe? Yes, I know someone's up there, but they're not making their presence known. And... Okay, well now they do. Made a presence known. But see, by the time I'm halfway between these two comm stations, someone relocates the airdrop, and I'm already like at this other one. There's a 50-50 shot that someone's in front of me. Because I just used the one previously, right? So it wouldn't make sense for me to be on my guard when I come through here, right? And when I do come through here, my ears are on 110. You know, because I, I mean, look, this map is still relatively new to a lot of new players. Which is why, right about here, I listen. But here's something I didn't realize until I got done with this encounter. I don't think you can enter that house. The big red one to my left, I, I don't think you can. Because look. There's no doors, and the windows can't open. Is this house a fake house? That shit crazy. I want to see more of these in the in the maps, developer, because there's a video coming up where I basically explain to you why hiding in a house is not a good strat. But yeah, fake houses, I like them. Keep it up, devs. Alright, so now that I've hit the second comm station, have any of y'all noticed that the time safe was not opened? Somebody hit one button, and that was it. Okay, what does that tell me? That tells me that dude hit one button and said, I can't find a second one, I'm gonna move on. Or, and this is on some 400 IQ play type bullshit, he's drawing somebody in, and that somebody might be me. But on the other end of 400 IQ, you have four IQ.
I want y'all to realize that he set himself up there for death. Because I don't know if you heard it or not, but one of those mortars went excessively boom instead of just a regular boom. Well, why is that? Dude put contact bombs onto this here watchtower. And I'm going to test y'all's memory. Battlefield 4. Right? Battlefield 4. A map called Zavad 311. On commander mode, if you look to the left, or the west rather, the, I want to say the Russian team, get to spawn, and on conquest mode, the flag is E. There's a watchtower on that map, and in that spawn, and there's only one way up it. How much you want to bet if this guy played Battlefield 4, he will do the exact same thing? How much you want to bet? But my point is this. Uh, he, he cornered himself up there. And granted, in real life, sure, you'll use an L96 on oh, within a watchtower. Sure. You know, valid strat in real life. But here's the thing. In real life, if you miss and you get shot one time, you're pretty much done. But in this game, you get shot one time, you might survive. You might. And dude only survived because I couldn't see him. All I had to go off of was where his traces were coming from. Yeah, that's all I had to go off of. This M4A1, it may pull off miracle headshots, but actually trying to pull off a headshot, like actually aiming down sight and looking for somebody's head with this damn thing, it don't work. It don't work. In that scenario, I would love to have, I don't know, an H bar T. In that particular scenario. But hey, we can't have what we don't have in the current timeline. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But anyways, look, I got an L96. Hooray. Now that container, right? That container was indeed open. And the guy that I killed was already getting shot at. Which means there's somebody watching that container and it didn't get there until late. And judging by the direction of where the shots were coming from, he came from the top of the map. What I'm trying to tell you is, what if that's the guy who hit the button one time on a time save? What if it is? And we know he expended some ammunition, but he didn't get shot back at. Which means he's full up on heels, which means he's probably a full on healthy hostile bush. And I do with those better in shootouts than I do in counters. That's just me. Now why am I running in this random direction? Why am I doing this? Well, there is um one more landmark that I haven't discovered yet. So uh, I might as well run this way. I mean, I might as well. You know, shouldn't there be a reward for discovering all landmarks on a map? Like a one-time one -time reward? You don't gotta be no airdrop. It can be something simple. Like, I don't know, 200 chemicals? That will be nice. Because exploring the map is actually dangerous in this game. Because, you know, you have other players, and in this particular scenario, you have mines, which I don't like, and you also have hostile bushes. But Jet, you said hostile players. I know, there's a difference. A hostile bush doesn't move. Players do. Yes, I said that. Okay, anyways, landmark, landmark, excuse me, uh, detected, and covered, and marked on my map. Okay, cool. Now what? Well, the airdrop is uh currently dropping, no pun intended, and I do intend to um make it dangerous. I do intend to. But you see, that that M4, which we heard near the container, that that's kind of replaying in my head. Where, where is the guy at, and why is he covering an empty airdrop? I mean, an empty container. So you see, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Should I go for the airdrop on my left or investigate what's, well, what I heard on my right? Which should I do?
He's gone. You know that old saying, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush? Yeah. Either I was going to get this guy going for the airdrop, or get the guy that I've already, you know, that, that y'all seen me get prone right there. And I say that because the only reason why I saw him is because of where he was at. And he was shooting when I saw him. If I'd have killed a guy for going for the airdrop, the dude in the bush would have got back in the bush and I would not have seen him. You understand? But here's the thing. Players don't shoot at random objects. At, at least uh, players with one and two brain cells don't do that shit. What I'm trying to say is, who was he shooting at? And was he there for the entire time? The second question I can't really answer. But the first question I can really answer quite quickly with the use of this here uh, detector. So I'm going to use said detector. And what do I find? Dude is still there. Why? I'm going to say a new uh, phrase here. New map syndrome. It affects players differently. The sweats will come onto the map and jump around with a bugle and try to get as many kills as possible. They say, oh, I was the first guy who got a throw on this map. Look at me. That's how new map syndrome affects veteran players, sweaty players, if you will. The new players, they're so afraid of where everybody's at. They will hide in the bush for the entire match and not actually try to discover what the map actually is. That, in my opinion, which may be wrong, your knowledge may vary, that's what I am going to coin up as new map syndrome. So, that being said, whatever new map the devs going to put in next, I'm looking forward to it. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.